Hi, this is Mary from Front Porch Ideas and More, and today Dave and I wanted to show you a couple things that we're doing to get ready for autumn on our front porch. So the first thing is, is we, we got some really pretty mums um, at Home Depot for only $2. And so I thought, well, this pot's not so pretty, so what could we do with that? So instead of looking for like bushel baskets, which would have been like five, six, seven dollars a piece, we found these pots at the dollar store that I think will work out just fine. What do you think? For one dollar? Total, total cost three dollars, the mum and the pot. So we're gonna put these on our uh, porch steps and on our porch, and we got different colors. We got orange and red, and we even have some different sizes for a few of our larger mums. So you don't have to spend a lot on your porch to make it look fabulous. The other thing I wanted to show you is um, I painted some new pillow toppers for our porch, and these are pumpkin pillow toppers. And I'm gonna show you some pictures, some slides on how I did this but actually it's just a square of painter's drop cloth and I drew a pumpkin on it with a sharpie and then I just painted inside the lines just kind of like a coloring book. It was really easy and I had a lot of fun with it doing the shading. Um, I'm not really a, a big painter but I'm just sort of learning and so just got out my craft paints and then to finish it off I put a, um, a nice little border of some polka dot fabric on it. So I'll show you more about this if you follow along with me. So here are the finished pumpkin pillow toppers. I wanted to show the, you them before we get started. So um, let me tell you how I did these. I started out with a square of painter's drop cloth. I cut my square probably about 16 inches, uh, might have been 17 inches, but it depends on the size of your pillow. And then I just sketched a pumpkin shape on it using a marker, a permanent marker. And then I just got out my craft paints and using a couple different paints on my paintbrush at the same time. So I put like a one corner into the lighter orange and another corner into a red or a darker orange. And I just started filling in the pumpkin. So here you can see I, I filled it in a little bit more and a little bit more and I added a few browns to it. I added some light shading. Here you can see I'm almost done. And there I did the stem with a couple shades of green. And here's how that one turned out. So let me just show you another one. This is a completely different pumpkin shape. Just filled it in with some oranges. I probably had some white on my palette and some dark orange. I decided I wanted to outline this one a little bit more, so I did that with my Sharpie. Filled in the stem. And here's what the finished pillow looks like. And you can see that there's some aqua highlights in it as well. I did that because of my border fabric. I loved the border fabric and I wanted to use it, but because there wasn't any aqua in my pumpkin, um, the two didn't go very well together. So by adding some aqua highlights, I think it turns out great. So here's my other finished pumpkins. This was my first one that I did. And here they are. I hope you'll consider doing something like this for your porch or your home. I didn't ever use to paint, so this is new territory for me, but I am really finding it to be a lot of fun. And even though I'm not really um, someone who knows how to draw, I have found that just by using a couple different colors of paint on the brush at the same time, you get beautiful shading and that makes it look oh so good, even though I'm just a beginner. So I hope you try something like this too. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? So I'm going to be attaching my pillow toppers to my pillows, um, replacing my summer covers, and we'll have some beautiful autumn, fill autumn pillows for our front porch. So hope that you're planning on doing something nice for your porch this fall too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the porch.